I'm gonna have you cooking like a rock star. Check out this pan seared red snapper with succotash. We got an infused scallion oil and we got a chili crunch compound butter. I got some Camellia brand green baby llama beans. We're gonna wash them off and then put them in a pressure cooker for 45 minutes. We're gonna start out by roasting our vegetables. That's gonna really help develop a nice flavor in them. I'm gonna go ahead and shuck four ears of corn. Cut in half and de-seed one red bell pepper. Peel and quarter and one onion. I'm gonna go ahead and line my cookie sheet with parchment paper so I don't make a mess. Line up all my vegetables and I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, season them with salt and pepper. Throw that in the oven to roast at about 425. Now we're gonna make a chili compound butter that's gonna go excellent on this red snapper. I'm using this pre-made chili crunch oil, but you can go ahead and make your own if you want. Add that to some softened butter and mix it up well. Make a little scallion oil to go right on top of that succotash. Take some fresh green onions, slice them up thin. You want to cook this in some olive oil. You just want to let that poach for about five minutes to extract those flavors. I'm using a stick blender for this, but you could just as soon use an upright. Blend it up and you can go ahead and strain it out. Once our beans are cooked, you can go ahead and strain that out and cool them off with some cold water. Our vegetables are nice and charred. We could remove them from the oven, cut the corn off the ears, and then give a medium dice to all other vegetables. Get a saute pan nice and hot with some oil and butter. Throw in your limas and you want to try and get that skin nice and blistered. Add in some fresh garlic and then season it up with salt and pepper. Then you could add in those roasted vegetables. I like to finish it off with a little bit of fresh parsley. So I got that beautiful red snapper fillet. I'm going to go ahead and score the skin and then we're going to season it just with salt and pepper. Getting that exterior dry is going to be the key to getting a good sear on it. So I left it in the fridge overnight, covered with some paper towels, got it nice and dry. Scoring that skin is what's going to help that fillet lay nice and flat while you sear it. Make sure you go ahead and season both sides. Now get your saute pan really hot with a little bit of olive oil and lay that skin side down. After a few minutes, give it a little flip. Now you could add in a big scoop of that chili butter and once that starts to melt, you can go ahead and baste your filet with it. We're going to throw this whole pan into a 400 degree oven and let that finish cooking. Now we can plate it up. You want to put a nice serving of that succotash. Top that with some of that scallion oil. That filet of fish right on top. Put a little dollop of that chili butter. Boudreaux's Backyard and Camellia Brand Beans. If you need this recipe, it'll be on my website. Damn, that chili butter really sets this thing off. That's just a perfect combination of flavors. A delicate fish over that roasted corn, those baby limas and that succotash. I'm gonna try it out.